Hello guys, this is Giga from M Arms. Hope you're all doing okay and getting quite a lot of range time. I'm here to show you a new product. This is the gun I'm using for mostly plinking, having fun. It's a 40 cal, put on our uh, 3D grips. But this is not the product I'm here to show you today. We're going to take a look at the new Magwell. Now if you will bear with me, we'll give you all the specifications, how it works, how to put it on, and how to use it, you'll know yourself. Okay, now let's check out how, uh, what is the weight on our TS with the aluminum grip. And we are showing 1.235 kilos. Okay, this is just for a reference when we change and swap everything with our products. And this is the new thing I wanted to talk about you guys. Uh, this is our new Megwell. We did a couple of features, I think you'll find them enjoyable. First of all, let's check out the weight on our thing. And we are 0 0.145 kilo. The first thing you can see, it's made from two parts. That has a reason. Uh, the CZ systems in most of these guns have a sm slight curve over here, which does not uh, allow standard magwells to be put on. And as you see, the original one, it comes only down here, and that's it. This was made so you could get a bit of additional hand support, a bit of more weight. Uh, and this one is also interchangeable. You can uh, order them for, let's say, a uh, different pistol. I think uh, we will be able to give you one of these, and you can get different of these, the upper parts, uh, and you'll be able to put it on a CZTS, uh, CZTS Orange, CZ uh, Checkmate, uh, without a problem. Uh, the second thing it is, over here, it's also the inner counter, it's not just straight, but it's also a bit round, straight and round again. Third thing, we have stiffs here, you get them inside a package, which allows the magwell to be put on really, really uh, precisely, okay? To assemble our magwell, first you have to put in the stifts, if the stifts are not inside, uh, then before putting on the grips, we put on the magwell. Like this, make sure the upper part is positioned carefully and precisely, like this has to come all the way to the end. Second thing, tighten the back screw. Like this. Okay? Now we will put on our grips, also the thick, short brass ones. For the back side, front side, rear side, all the check rings. Like this. We will be using the Torx screwdriver, which allows us to put just enough tension on the screw. Here the click. And also over here. Like this. Never forget to put on your Loctite. This will hold your grips and magwell in place. this. The most important thing here, you must not forget to put on the Loctite on the bottom screw of our Magwell. So, we take a bit of Loctite, not much. Now remember, this screw is not meant to be used with force. You apply just a bit of it. Here we're using our top screw with 0.7 Newton meters. That's just enough. You do not need more. If you do not have it, do not worry. All you have to do is to screw it all the way down. When it comes down, you apply not much, just a little pressure. Two fingers is enough. With this torque screw, we will see a, here a click. There it is. It's enough. You do not need more. Now, never forget to uh, read the instructions of our manufacturer of uh, glue. 
usually you have to wait 24 hours so it sets in now really do not forget no force should be applied okay this is our gun now you can see when holding it we have front support back support rear support on the inner side we have a nice counter depending on the gun the tolerances the gun is made maybe you will need to filed off a bit or the mega or the gun because not one gun is the same as the other uh, now we can check out the weight and we got substantial weight gain and it's 0 1.5 kilograms okay now just for fun let's see how our reload goes Looks nice. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy the product. Keep in touch.